Hello everybody, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel for- Why are you not British? Oh, my apologies. Hello everybody, James Charles here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. In today's video, I'm absolutely thrilled. I cannot wait because we're doing another episode of your favorite series, trying out a full face of makeup from insert store name here. And today's store, is a very famous UK based brand. None of these products have ever touched my skin before, but I've gotten thousands upon thousands of comments from you guys asking me to try out a full face of Essence makeup. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, you guys, I am so excited for today's video. If you are, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, if you have not already, click that subscribe button. I honestly miss being over in the UK so badly. I was in London last summer. I definitely want to go again this summer. So until then, this is my taste of London. So I'm actually there, you know? Let's get into it, shall we? So for those of you guys who may not be familiar with Essence or maybe haven't heard of Essence before, maybe like my American followers might not know. It is a very popular brand over in Europe. Specifically, I get so many comments from the UK girlies asking me to try out a full face of the brand. Now, Essence is a drugstore brand, so it is sold in a lot of department stores over there, such as Boots. And I've seen a lot of products go really viral from the brand as well. I know their mascara was a huge moment on TikTok. I know people have talked about their foundation and their blushes and stuff like that. So I'm definitely really excited to actually try it out on my face today because a lot of my UK girlies stand by it. But I will wait until the end of the video to give you guys my final thoughts. It could end up incredible, but it also could end up being a complete flop. So I will let you know once we get there. Let's go ahead and get started off with our routine today, we're going to go in with some primer. This is the Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer, free, <coughs> and it is silicone and alcohol free. Costs $5.99, so let's go right in. I'm surprised that it's alcohol free because it is very much smelling like hand sanitizer, which I'm not complaining about. I actually like the smell of hand sanitizer. Just an observation. This actually feels really nice. All right, you guys, we're off to a good start. Let's go in with our foundation. I actually went ahead and bought three different options because shopping online, you guys know how it is. You can never exactly tell. So I bought neutral champagne, neutral vanilla, and neutral ivory, 030, 040, and 050. And these cost $6.99, so very affordable as well. And I'm gonna apply this using my Essence Makeup and Baking Sponge. Oh God, this foundation, oh. Wait a second, I don't know if it's the sponge or the foundation. Okay, natural coverage, finish and weightless feel, okay. It certainly doesn't claim to be full coverage, at least that's good to know because, yep. Okay, I'm gonna dot some on my actual face because this coverage is virtually non-existent and I'm, thank God, having a pretty good skin day today. Oh, wow, okay. Like I'm adding more and it's like not blending in with the product that's underneath it. It's literally like separating it. It's looking really patchy in like my contour, cheek and nose regions, which is, not ideal. Next, we're gonna go in and add some color to the face. And luckily we actually have a, quite a few products to help do that. The first one being this Essence Baby Got Bronze Little Contour Stick. Now these are super cute. They remind me a lot of like the Milk Little Contour Sticks that just launched a couple of weeks ago. Um, The color looks honestly pretty nice. Okay, let's try this out and see what we come up with. Ooh, oh my God, wait a second. Okay. That's not bad at all. Let's see how it actually blends out though. Hold on. Okay, it's $4.99 by the way on the price tag. Okay, wait a second. This is actually blending out really, really nicely. Look at that. That was so quick. Wait a second. Oh my God, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I, I will say this little contour stick is not the most ideal for certain tasks such as cream contouring the nose as you can see by um, this whole situation. However, I am gonna use my little Essence nose contouring brush, angled crease brush to blend this out. And once the contour's blended out, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Baby Got Blush, little stick from Essence, also $4.99. Okay, let's see if this formula is as good as the contour one. Oh, okay, it doesn't have as much pigment, but let's see how it blends out. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Oh, come on. Not a huge fan of the blush stick. That sucks, but contour, pretty good. Let's go in next with some concealer. So we have the Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer with Aloe Vera. No fragrance, silicones, or mineral oil, and it is vegan. Gorgeous, and this cost $4.99. Now the shade is a little light. Um, I think that, no, we'll be able to make this work, okay. What the fuck? Wait a second. Oh my God, this has literally no pigment to it whatsoever. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my fucking 
Please zoom in. Look, I, okay, I just lowered the lighting so you guys can see what's actually going on here. Look at my nose. Look at this. All of the foundation completely gone. All of the foundation completely gone. When I'm blending out this concealer, it's literally just taking the base with it. Like what? Oh my God, I've never seen anything like this in my entire, oh my God. You can literally tell where I put the concealer on my chin and on my upper lip. A lot of times when we've done videos like this, if something starts to mess up a little bit, I'll try to go in and kind of fix it off camera and I'll always let you guys know, but I like to give brands the benefit of the doubt. Maybe a product isn't specifically for my skin type or my skin tone or the other products that I've used it with, but I have never in my life experienced something this bad. Like this is the worst concealer that I have ever used. This is fucking awful and you shouldn't buy this. Oh my God. Never in my life. I went back in with another layer of concealer, a little bit more contour, a little bit more blush, and tried to blend everything out. This is currently the best that I've been able to get the base to look in terms of it still being wet. It's bad. This is this is bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it with powder. We have 16 hour cover and last powder foundation from Essence, and we also have an all about matte fixing compact powder. I also love that it's all about matte spelled wrong, like Matt the person. All about matte, Damon. All about matte. Is there any other famous mats? All about Matt McConaughey. Maybe they spell it differently in Europe. I'm gonna use my 16 hour and last powder foundation because after these shitty products, I could use a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna grab this lovely little, actually, I'm not even gonna fucking bother, let's be for real. I'm gonna grab a powder puff and we're going to apply this. Let's see what it gives us. So I brightened the center areas with the foundation powder. Now I'm gonna use the all about matte translucent powder to set the rest of the face because I don't want those areas to be brightened. All right, you guys, the face is all set in place. So now we're just going to reinforce some of those cream products, which honestly, thank God, because they did not slay like I wanted them to. Starting off with a little bit of our bronzer. Now I bought this Essence Sun Club Matte Damon Bronzing Powder Palette. Who are other famous mattes? Can you help me? I'm gonna dip into this color because the other ones seem like they might be a little too dark for me. And this palette, by the way, costs $9.99, which honestly, not bad for four colors. And the last one, at least, we're just gonna apply a little bit of my Essence Pure Nude. Big blush. <laughs> Pure nude with matte. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's shiny, unfortunately, which is gonna be fucking ugly. I can already tell. I said, damn, bitch. Ooh. Wait. Oh my god. And the blush is actually gorgeous. Why is it like, this is so bizarre. I've never seen anything like this before where like three out of five products are fucking awful, but then all of a sudden two of them are just like, Gorgeous. Okay, now that we have the base all done, thank God. We're gonna go in with a little bit of eyebrows. Now for this today, we have the Essence Baby Got Brow. Why do they keep saying that? Baby Got Blush, Baby Got... It's not funny. This costs $4.99. Oh my God. It's a fucking triangular pencil tip. I literally hate these. But last time I tried one of these for our last video, it actually worked, so. The best way that I can describe this is that you guys know, if you've tried out multiple brow pencils before, some of them are a dry formula, which we love. Okay, that's like the Autosassi Beverly Hills brow pencil, the Benefit brow pencil. And some of them, specifically the cheap shit ones, like this one, are waxy. When you go to actually like put it on your skin, it literally feels like you're applying a cream product and dragging it across your face, as opposed to drawing on like a brow, which should be not that experience. <laughs> The brows are as best as they're going to get in terms of the shape. So I'm gonna now go in with this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. It's clear to set them in place. This is honestly kind of cute packaging. I like the blue spoolie, I'm not gonna lie. That's cute. This costs $3.99, so definitely very affordable as well. Now we'll wait for that to dry. I'm just gonna go back into a little bit of my Essence Keep Me Cover Concealer, which if we remember, was probably the worst concealer that I've ever tried. But a little bit of that to carve out the brows. Now it's time for the best part of our makeup looks. You guys know, my favorite, I love doing eyeshadow. And today we're gonna use this Essence Welcome to Miami eyeshadow palette. All right. <laughs> Woo! Manufactured in the UK. So let's see if they've ever actually been to Miami. None of this gives me Miami vibes at all. If there should be a pink, there should be a bright red. Sorry. Bright red, bright orange, turquoise for sure, which we have there, of course. Those are gorgeous. I'm gonna start off with this deep purple shade right here on my Essence Eye Blender brush. And we're gonna put this right in my crease. Oh! Wait a second, okay, hold on. Well, 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 how the turntables. I'm gonna put this right into the crease in like a nice little round shape. Okay, okay. I'm just using a smaller fluffy brush. 
to grab this lighter purple flamingo shade right here and blending out the edges. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use a little bit of my blush. That's what I'll use. They didn't give us a pink, so we'll use a little bit of our blush. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful <laughs> metallic teal shade right here, and we're gonna pop it on the center of this lid. Okay, this is gonna give us, oh, what the? Oh. A second okay hold up not a gagging me oh my god <laughs> what wait what literally why is that like what the fuck is happening let's do a similar color story on the bottom we're gonna do a little bit of purple on the outside and inside over top of this eyeshadow look i am gonna use a little bit of this essence kajal pencil black coal eyeliner this cost me $1.99. Girl, I ate that the fuck up. Oh my God. Look at that eye. Ooh, that is one eye all complete. Honestly, can't believe I'm gonna say it. She's looking gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera quickly to get them to match, and I'll finish off the rest of the look. We are back and both eyes are now complete. And while they do look beautiful, I am having to do quite a lot of touch-up work right now um, because I noticed when I looked closely to do some final blending that my nostrils were both blue. So while this um, look did actually, by some miracle, come out pretty decent, um, the formula is not great. Obviously, we were, were not surprised by that, but there was quite a lot of fallout and I'm trying to do the best that I can to possibly fix it. I know that this Lash Princess Mascara is actually pretty good from what I remember seeing on TikToks. A lot of people really liked this formula and I am always on the hunt for a new mascara. So let's go ahead and try this out. The eyes might very well end up being the best part of this entire look, which I would not be angry about. So let's go ahead and give it a nice little curl using our lash curler. And let's see how this applies. Oh my God, I'm already noticing the formula is gray. It's not black, it's dark gray. Okay, but the formula seems to be a really good consistency. It's not too wet. I've definitely tried worse mascaras. It's not bad by any means, but it's not amazing. And I also am a little bit disappointed because I feel like I was expecting high results based on how people were talking about it on TikTok. And I do feel a little lied to. I don't know, what do you guys think? You'll have to let me know down below about the mascara. I'm not superly impressed. Superly, did I say fucking superly impressed? Let's go in with our very last step of the routine, our lips, and we have two products today. First, starting off with this Essence Eight Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liner. And we got the shade Silky Hazelnut, which honestly looks like it's gonna be so cute for me. Lip liner's all on, not obsessed with this formula. It's a little bit too soft. It I don't know, the color's actually really nice. I like the color a lot, but the actual formula, not gorgeous. We're gonna finish this off, last but not least, with the Essence, it doesn't even say, it's just a fucking lipstick. <laughs> this is in the color Special. Ooh, <gasps> wait a second. Oh my God, the formula of that is gorgeous. The color is a little, it's a little peachy. And on that note, loves, that is our full face of makeup from the beauty brand Essex. Oh, fuck, <laughs> The beauty brand Essence, all complete. If you don't know me, I'm into the B. Come in and hope better watch it, cozy. That is our full face of Essence Makeup All Complete. This was quite a roller coaster ride. We had some honestly really decent products in today's routine, and we also had some really fucking awful products too. That primer, not bad. Foundation, concealer, powder, absolute garbage. Eyeshadow palette. The, the diamond in the rough, the hidden gem of this entire video, you guys. Look at this look. Look at this look. This $10 Welcome to Miami eyeshadow palette. You can tell. You can tell whoever made this, they've never been to Miami in their entire life. But, I mean, hello, looks pretty good. Overall, I'm not sure if I would be able to recommend Essence to you guys, but you will have to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this full face of makeup. And if you've actually tried Essence before, did I give it a fair shot? Did I miss any products that you actually liked? Did I use anything wrong? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed today's video, nonetheless, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot. And if you have not already, of course, click that subscribe button as well as the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from from me. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter are all just James Charles. And make sure you follow my makeup brand Painted, about to launch soon at painted.co. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!